Hey sugar, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Ro the Black Magnolia, your favorite bougie babe, bringing you all your bougie but budget-friendly tips and faves and a little bit of everything in between. Today is a little bit different. I wanna to talk to you about feeling luxurious and bougie and wonderful in your home. Because yes, we wanna be bougie and wonderful out in the world, but it's free to be bougie at home. <music> make sure I feel my bougie, most luxurious, best self when I'm at home. Stick around if you want to know more. I'm going to start at the top of the morning with you. It's super easy if you work from home or if you don't work and you're just at home for most of your day to stay in your PJs all day long or to just put on something bummy and not really care. It doesn't matter, but it does. It makes such a difference in your mood and how you move throughout the rest of your day. You start your day and the stuff that you went to bed in the night before, that's no good. That's just gonna, I'm just gonna feel sleepy and lazy all day long. It's just how it is. And even if I have a Zoom meeting and I know that I'm only gonna be seen from the waist up, I'm gonna get dressed all the way. I'm gonna put a whole outfit on or some really nice transitional loungewear, something that is going to allow me to feel put together and luxurious, even if it's not fancy, but something that's just gonna make me feel like I'm ready for the next steps in my day without feeling like I'm just ready to go back to bed. It doesn't have to cost you a fortune to do that. If you and here's a little bit of style inspiration for you. These are some of my very favorite styles and the places that I love to get them. These are chic, comfortable, and stylish, and they are definitely budget friendly. You can always go to someplace like TJ Maxx, or on Amazon, Amazon is usually the easiest way to get anything, to find some nice coordinated sets that you can throw on and always look like you're put together because we all have that one friend or that one person in our lives who you're like, do you ever wear sweatshirts? Do you, do you ever put on leggings? And even if you are that friend who does put on the leggings and stretch pants, which I fully am, I live in my leggings and stretch pants when I can, I always like to make sure I am spending a majority of my day in something that I have put on intentionally. Get dressed even if you're just staying home. It doesn't matter, somebody could knock on the door. You could need to run to the store or run to pick up a kid or run to do something. You're already dressed and you know the saying, if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. Next tip that I always give people in order to feel more luxurious at home and in their space is to fill your space with music. I don't care what kind of music it is you love or you listen to, turn it on and put it in your house and let it fill your soul. And it sets a mood and a vibe and an atmosphere in your home. When people come in and there's a little bit of a soundtrack playing, it's a little bit more inviting and welcoming and it makes people feel a little bit more at ease. And what I love about having music playing is, is that no matter what kind of a mood I'm in, my music can reflect that. If I'm feeling a little bit more laid back and relaxed, I could put on some lo-fi or some jazz. It just depends what I'm feeling and what I need in that moment. I'm gonna let it be the soundtrack that plays in my house all the time. And I'm gonna set an atmosphere and a mood that is gonna to speak to how I'm feeling. Another way to feel a little bit more luxe and more comfortable in your own home, if you don't live alone, or even if you do, you need to have one spot in your home that is clutter-free, clean, and comfortable for you to sit in at any time, at any moment, and just breathe. If every spot in your house is cluttered and chaotic, it is really hard to focus and get your mind around anything. Just having that one spot where you can just be you without having to prep or separate or move things around is really, really important. It's good for your headspace. It's good for creativity. It's good for peacefulness and mindfulness. And there's nothing more luxurious than a clean space, even if it's just one. We live in a time where fast food or DoorDash or takeout is king. And yes, sometimes that is the best option. Sometimes it's just impossible to actually sit down and eat, but if you can, you definitely need to. Get into your dining area, your dining space, your kitchen counter, your kitchen table, wherever it is you've designated that you eat in your home, set it up. Even if you're ordering out and you get that food, don't eat it out of the container. Take the food, plate it, sit down at the table, pour yourself something to drink, have a seat and enjoy your meal or make yourself a snack and enjoy it the same way. 
get out a pretty plate if you have one and put it on that. Set the table for yourself or anybody else who might be eating with you and eat your meal. If you were to walk into a restaurant all prepared for the experience and the moment and they handed you a plate and a fork and said, go sit out back in the alley and eat, you would not be pleased. You would not want to do such things. That doesn't feel luxurious. That doesn't feel comfortable. You want the full experience. When you go out to eat, you want to feel taken care of and catered to and pampered. That's the reason why we do it and we want the presentation to be lovely. We can make the presentation lovely for ourselves and give ourselves that luxurious pampering experience and set the table and set the mood and set the scene and make sure you are taking time just to sit down and eat. Tip number five to feeling luxurious and comfortable in your own home is fresh flowers. I don't care where you get them from. If you've got them in your garden, do that. If you can go to Trader Joe's and get flowers because they're pretty inexpensive there, do that. The supermarket, a local florist, anywhere, just get yourself some beautiful fresh flowers and put them in any spot in your home that you're going to look at and see all the time, whether that's by your front door, in your bedroom, in a dining area, somewhere. Fresh flowers elevate any space instantly. The easiest way to add color and set a beautiful, serene mood in a room, depending on what kind of flowers you're using, and it always makes a space that much more bright and inviting and welcoming. And if you haven't already, Sugar, make sure you go down to that subscribe button, click it, turn on your notification bells, and make sure that you never, ever miss a video. And my last two tips are all about bedtime. We started at the top of our day and we're gonna finish with the end. Always, always get ready for bed. It is the easiest thing to go to bed in a t-shirt, in old shorts, in whatever you wore throughout the day and just call it. But there's something to be said about dressing for bed and doing it with a matching set of pajamas or with a nightgown. Go anywhere and grab yourself a set of pajamas. I have these two that my husband got for me for Christmas a couple years back and I love them. It just makes me feel like I was intentional about getting ready for bed and getting ready for rest and feeling lovely while doing so. That's very luxurious in my opinion. But if you're like me and you have dealt with or you are currently dealing with the menopause night sweats and you don't want to wear anything to bed, believe me, I feel you. Some nights I do like Marilyn Monroe and only wear Chanel number no. five to bed. Not really, I don't like Chanel number no. five. It's not my jam, I digress. If you don't wanna wear anything to bed or if you can't wear anything to bed because you are too hot and sweaty, go to bed naked girl, it's okay. But keep a robe or a nightgown nearby. That way you don't have to worry if an emergency happens in the middle of the night or if somebody, you know, if one of the kids or a, a guest comes in while you're asleep, you have something close by to wear and not be all out in the open with no clothes on. And that robe should be something lovely. That robe should be something comfortable and beautiful if it is the summertime, something more satiny or silk and lightweight that's not gonna make y'all sweaty and hot and that you can wear as you prepare for your morning, and get your coffee done and go downstairs and do all of those things. If it's colder, something a little bit fuzzier, heavier material that you can wear that's gonna keep you warm and also keep you looking stylish and fabulous. My goddaughter was here spending some time with us last summer and she happened to come into my room for something and she was like, oh my gosh, auntie, you look so fancy in that robe. You look like you belong in like a castle in Scotland somewhere. And that just made my whole day. I was like, well, darling, that is exactly why I do this. I'm manifesting a castle in Scotland for myself. <laughs> but it did, it just really solidified for me the fact that making sure that I am feeling and looking put together, no matter what time of day it is or what I'm doing, it's important and it makes all the difference, not in just how I feel, but in what I project and what I put out in the world about how I feel. And even if you don't feel luxurious, even if you don't feel wonderful or fancy, girl, fake it till you make it. In all my years, I have learned sometimes you just gotta do the thing that makes you feel like you are the thing. And eventually, you believe it. Comment down below your favorite way to feel your most comfortable, luxurious, best in your home and what different things you've tried to help elevate your space and your mood. I hope this was helpful, Sugar. I hope this video 
helps you find more ways to feel your most luxurious, bougie best. And I will see you in the next video.